This is Angela from North Carolina, and I just made a complete video making homemade vegan spaghetti sauce, and I went over too long and it didn't save. And I made it start to finish, and I don't have the ingredients to make it again, but I just wanted to show you what I was using. Most people that have tried the fake meat spaghetti don't really like it very much. I do. My preferred meat is this fresh Light Life Smart Ground that's in the vegetable section. But this is Mexican crumbles that we had with tacos the other night. So I'm using instead, this is at every grocery store in the frozen section. And it's the ultimate beefless ground. Each serving has 18 grams of protein, zero cholesterol, and 110 calories. It's ready in two minutes. So unlike spaghetti made with real meat, you don't cook it long. So I started my meat by itself with a little bit of garlic, garlic, olive oil. I then added chopped onion and three cloves of chopped garlic. I added a little bit of water at that time. water plumps up the fake meat. I then added my spices. I put in my cayenne pepper, parsley. I had the fresh garlic, but I also used some garlic salt. I'm not a garlic salt person, but this spaghetti does taste better with garlic salt. I'm going to add a little bit more. I've got cayenne pepper, I've got two shakes of crushed red pepper, it doesn't taste hot at all. Then here's the trick that I've learned over the years from people that are Italian and Hungarian. Hungarians cook with a lot of cinnamon. You sprinkle just a little bit of cinnamon in. I added about a tablespoon of sugar. I used real sugar because my husband is normally, a, he's a diabetic and normally I use sweet and low, but sweet and low is not good in this. Hungarians and Italian love the combination of cinnamon and sugar together in their spaghetti. And I'm telling you, it's incredible. Don't frown and say, oh, I'm not going to try it. You will love it. The whole house smells like heaven. So before I realized my video was lost, um, it was just about cooked. I have a few pieces of garlic that have not run clear yet. The onion is already clear. I have two chopped onions in here. And then I saved the bottom of the sauce and I added some water to it and it's going to go in the refrigerator along with the sauce and then tonight when we go to serve it I will add this and then heat it back up over the stove and right now my pasta noodles are cooking in my pasta pot I'm going to taste this and see what it needs oh my gosh nothing mm. it's perfect so it's got Himalayan rock salt, black pepper, garlic salt, cayenne, parsley, water, olive oil, a few red flakes, and your um, Himalayan salt with a touch of real sugar. It only takes two minutes for the meat to cook. I did let it cook a little bit longer because I wanted the garlic and onions to cook through, uh, but I did not cook it more than five minutes. If you were to cook this all day, you would have a bowl of rubber tonight. And then this is my pasta pot. I don't know if any of you have one. I've had this one for about 25 years now. And you see how the pasta, it's like it's being cooked with jets. The water cooks and makes the pasta light as a feather. And you just lift it up and rinse off your 
pasta with cold water to get the starch off. And I don't use any salt or olive oil while I cook my pasta. Yeah, I feel it makes the pasta tough. After I've drained it, I add my olive oil to it and no salt because I have salt in the spaghetti sauce. So if you ever want to give it a try or take out some fake meat and give it a whirl, I highly recommend the fake meat spaghetti. Honestly, you won't know the difference. And this is absolutely delicious. If I hadn't already eaten, I would eat some now. Have a good day, and I hope everybody's staying warm where it's snowing. Unfortunately, we've been running our air conditioner and fans, but we hope it's about over now.